Leonardo da Vinci is known for hiding cryptic clues in his paintings. The Mona Lisa has a very small LV in the eye, and the Last Supper has musical notes spelled out with the bread. There is one painting, however, that still puzzles cryptographers. That is the painting of Salvador Mundi. Solve this painting, and you will solve Cicada 3301's Libra Primus of 2014. It is thought that Cicada 3301 is not recruiting any more members until the 2014 Libra Primus is solved. Leonardo was well known for using symbols and codes to deliver cryptic messages in his art, and he wanted us to know the identity of his subjects using the eye, which he believes were the door to the soul and the means for communication. Most of his well-known art pieces contain hidden clues of secret or forbidden knowledge or messages. The Mona Lisa painting from Da Vinci has been under intense investigation for many years. The common belief is that the painting is of a woman named Lisa Gherardini, the wife of a Florence silk merchant. Others believe she was Da Vinci's mother. It could possibly be a man or Da Vinci himself. Da Vinci put tiny numbers and letters into the eyes. He wanted to leave his final thoughts on his views of the universe. The letters can only be seen by magnifying high resolution images of the painting. They're invisible to the naked eye. The LV appears in the right eye, while the figures in the left eye are hard to understand. This would have needed to be painted with magnification. The number 72 is located under the arched bridge in the backdrop of the Mona Lisa. The number 72 is found in the Kabbalah, a form of Jewish mysticism, and in Christianity. Even when the number is considered separately, the number seven is full of symbolic associations in both Judaism and Christianity. For example, to the creation of the world, and the number two may be a reference to the duality of male and female. Another very well-known Da Vinci painting, The Last Supper, also holds cryptic meaning. Notice the placement of the bread rolls. They look like musical notes. You can draw a musical staff across the painting to find out what the notes were. Played left to right, the music makes little sense, but Da Vinci always wrote right to left. Following that logic, the lows in the hands of the Apostles become a musical score. Da Vinci was also a musician. The spaces in the painting provide the proof that the rolls and hands were to act as musical notes. When Da Vinci was 24 years old, he had spent some time in isolation, probably in a cave. Leonardo may have had a mystical experience, where he possibly may have met otherworldly beings, had prophetic dreams, or otherwise received knowledge from an alternate reality. Evidence can be found in his painting, The Virgin of the Rocks. The painting depicts a meeting of infant Jesus with infant John the Baptist during the Holy Family's flight to Egypt. The children's protectors have been reversed. Mary has her arm around John, and John's protector Archangel Uriel is with Jesus. One of the features of the Virgin of the Rocks is the rocky cavern the scene is set in. Da Vinci may have linked his cave experience into this painting. Now onto the painting that will solve Liber Primus, the Salvador Mundi. The painting, circa 1500, shows Jesus in Renaissance dress, giving a benediction with his right hand raised and two fingers extended, while holding a transparent rock crystal orb in his left hand signaling his role as the savior of the world and master of the cosmos. 
and representing the crystalline sphere of the heavens as it was perceived during the Renaissance. Veteran solvers believe Liber Primus has not been solved yet because it represents the first cipher that is three-dimensional. It's fitting that Cicada picked Leonardo because he was known to encrypt his paintings. In 3301's March 14th puzzle, Cicada used a Bible verse. Luke 8.17 says, For there is nothing hidden that will not be disclosed, and nothing concealed that will not be known or brought out into the open. Many are perplexed by the solid glass orb that lacks optical exactitude. Leonardo failed to paint the distortion that would occur when looking through a solid clear orb at objects that are not touching the orb. Leonardo painted the orb as if it were a hollow glass bubble that does not refract or distort the light passing through it. To the unseen eyes, the orb appears to be a mistake. The three dots in a triangle leap from the image. What is their meaning? Maybe da Vinci wanted to show us that the crystal orb bubbling up in Christ's hand is a symbol for a power source beyond human comprehension, or the power of the universe itself. To me, I see 3301 living through da Vinci. The cryptic puzzles, the beautiful music, the books of da Vinci's scientific writings, and don't forget the Bruno Borges mysterious disappearance for months that he supposedly lived out in a cave similar to da Vinci. It seems that the Salvador Mundi was painted at night under candlelight. The glass bulb is reflecting the stars. The stars are reflected in a three-dimensional pattern. This would mean Liber Primus would be a three-dimensional puzzle. To give you a little background on Liber Primus, Liber Primus is the name given to a nearly 60-page book of ruins discovered at the end of the 2014 version of the 3301 puzzle, and it remains largely undeciphered to this day. It is said that the puzzle cannot continue, or new recruits will not be accepted until Liber Primus is solved. Liber Primus is the way, its words are the map, their meaning is the road, and the numbers are the direction. Cicada will add new recruits after the solving of Liber Primus. 17 pages have been solved so far. Pages 7, 23, 33, and 56 have dots. Overlay the constellation of the dots and you will receive your three-dimensional cipher.
turn.